gigantic Norris Dam comes to the winter a step nearer completion. The staccato echoes of clattering machines and the shouts of thousands of busy workmen have resounded through the valley of the Clinch River for nearly two years as work has been rushed forward to complete one of the country's largest power and reservoir dams by 1936. Built of huge cement blocks, the walls of the new dam tower into the sky like mighty modern pyramids. This great dam and hydroelectric plant will harness the raging spring floodwaters of the Clinch and Tennessee rivers. Water will be provided for irrigation purposes in the Tennessee Valley for years to come. The hydroelectric plant will furnish light and power to thousands of homes. High above the dam, huge steel buckets filled with rock and concrete swing back and forth all day long. Heavy shadows on the floor of the valley mark their journeys overhead. And at the ends of the cables, enormous anchor cars weighing many tons roll slowly back and forth, lowering the steel buckets at their destinations, then raising and returning them after each load has been delivered. The vast extent of the great TVA project is almost unbelievable. Hundreds of thousands of tons of rock are being removed, and tons of concrete and steel are being substituted in their place. A fast, dependable ambulance is held in readiness for any possible emergency that might arise. The many machines, motor cars, and trucks used are receiving the roughest and toughest punishment. Steel railroad rails are welded into truck bodies that will withstand the ten-ton loads of rock. A shovel that bites more than three tons of rock at a time out of the side of this hill, then piles it on a waiting truck. With incredible accuracy, the scoop is swung to and fro by the highly skilled touch of a steam shovel engineer. One or two scoops this size, and it's ready to move on. Without efficient shovels like this and sturdy trucks to carry away the rock, many more years would be required to complete the building program. Wow! Look at the load they put on that Chevrolet truck. In addition to the ten-ton heavy-duty trucks, Many other smaller, faster Chevrolet trucks and delivery cars are needed for a thousand and one different purposes. A hundred and fifty Chevrolet trucks tear about the rough, jagged valley, carrying supplies of gasoline, machinery, and gravel, transporting engineers from one point to another. A mighty important part of the work which must be done to assure the completion of the dam on scheduled time. The entire TVA project will affect the lives of over six million people in the surrounding territory. All the thrills of ice boat racing without the bumps and jokes. All it takes is one fast, speedy ice boat, a new standard Chevrolet, and you're all set. Plenty of speed, and look out there, mister, no tricks. What do you think you've got on that boat? Knee action? You'd like to be on the boat? All right, then, here we go. But hang on. Hey, mister, what is this? Can't you miss a few of those bumps? Whew. So you think it's fun, eh? Well, there's plenty of trouble just hanging on without worrying about directions or where you're going to end up at. And look at that snow fly. No wonder you have to bundle up for this sport and take a day's rest after every ride. A lot more comfortable, this. And you don't have to depend on the wind for your power. Just a little more push on the accelerator and you're out in front. This chap may be running his ice boat on free air, but he hasn't got as much on the car as he thinks, for the engine is using only one part of gasoline to every 18 parts of air, and that does the trick. It takes some speed to overtake an ice boat traveling with the wind. Come on there, fellows. You're getting behind. There's a little more breeze. Give it the gun. That's the stuff. He's gaining. Whoa, he made it. Out in front, over the finish line, and there's nothing like beating an ice boat at its own game. Step right up and try your luck. Here's a new contraption that tells you exactly how many miles you get to the gallon. A gas gauge that mounts right on the windshield to test gasoline mileage on your car. Over 4,000 Chevrolet dealers throughout the country have been equipped with this new device, which settles a lot of gasoline alley arguments about who gets the most miles on a gallon. Now, when your neighbor says he can outrun you on a gallon of gasoline, you needn't find yourself stranded six miles from the nearest gas station when you finish up, and you can both go along to see that there's no snitching. Motorists everywhere are trying this new game of checking gasoline mileage. And besides settling a lot of arguments, they're taking all the guesswork out of gasoline economy. <laughs> Moore of the Terminal introduces five new creations for Milady's coiffure. The elaborate rumba swirl for the most formal dinner and dance occasions. 
and the terminal. Simple enough for the hostess, yet formal enough for evening wear. Lanim Ray, for afternoon as well as evening wear, designed especially for the young girl. Ah, enter the Duchess. This attractive new headdress is appropriately named the Merry Widow. Another romantic knight with a regal and glamorous appearance, suitable for first nights in the opera. And now off for the show, all five, and not a worry in the world about getting a single hair out of place. For modern motor cars now have no draft ventilation that provides individual circulation of fresh air without a trace of draft. A little twist of the handle turns on the fresh air, yet the most elaborate headdress stays in perfect order. Construction gets underway for the coming 1935 All-American Soapbox Derby. An old baby buggy, complete with wheels, supplies the most important part of the makings. Rubber tires and everything. Maybe the streamlining won't be technically correct, but the winner last year received a four-year scholarship from the Chevrolet Motor Company. And prizes like that are worth a lot of hammered fingers. This will probably turn out to be an innovation in motor car design. But wait till you see the other entrants in the 1935 Derby. There'll be everything from cracker boxes to cheese boxes on wheels. Only a few short weeks until the starter's gun bangs away and sectional winners from all over the country roar down the track. But a slow start doesn't mean anything on a long hill. There'll be plenty of speed and action when they shoot across the finish line. Besides hundreds of cars, there'll be plenty of variety among owners. And man, why did you get all them spectacles? Famous sports announcers, Graham McNamee and all the rest will cover the race. Hey, Graham, here comes your dog. Okay, boys, it won't be long now, and see you all soon. Mary had a little lamb. This is Mary, all right, but on second look, she must have traded the lamb for a brand new pup. Or is it? Right, it is, and she seems to be taking it for a ride in her mother's new car. Here, here, what's this? Ah, solid dog comfort. Don't you worry, little fella. There's room enough in there for three or four like you. Well, make up your mind. Are you going to move in or not? And don't look so glum about it. It isn't every dog that can travel in his own private compartment. And now off for a spin. My, my, my. A dog's life certainly improves with the years. (laughs) 